cover story I write about the star of the month, and much more. TCM Now Playing. Get 12 issues for only $13.99 at tcm.com slash now playing or call 1-800-TCM-1002. Good evening, everybody. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for joining us on TCM for Silent Sunday Night. Tonight, a rare comedy from Danish filmmaker Carl Theodore Dreyer from 1925. It's Master of the House. Dreyer wrote and directed the movie based on a play about a demanding husband and father who gets a taste of his own medicine when his childhood nanny comes back into his life. Although he made just over a dozen feature films, Dreyer is considered one of the great filmmakers of his time with a deft hand at dramas like his 1928 silent masterpiece, The Passion of Joan of Arc, thrillers like his eerie 1932 horror classic Vampire, as well as comedies like Master of the House. Dreyer only made two comedies, but they were actually his most successful films. In fact, Master of the House was the only box office hit of Dreyer's career. The movie was popular throughout Europe, but it was especially well received in France, where it played regularly long after sound movies were introduced in theaters. The movie's success gave Dreyer the financial wherewithal to make the kind of movies he really wanted to make, starting with Joan of Arc, which elevated his status from respected filmmaker to auteur. In Master of the House, Dreyer was surrounded by a reliable cast of people that he'd worked with before. Matilda Nielsen, who appeared in Dreyer's first comedy, The Parson's Widow, played the nanny, and her troublesome adult charge, the demanding husband, is played by Johannes Meyer, who appeared in two of Dreyer's previous films. Nielsen actually reprised her role in a 1942 remake of the Master of the House story. The young actress who plays the daughter in Master of the House, Karen Nelmos, also appeared in the remake, but as the mother. I hope you were following along. Here's the original from 1925, Master of the House. Thank you. 